Hey Wally, you want to check on the worms? Come on, we gotta check on the worms. Moose is gonna come check on the worms. Hey Moose, you wanna help me check on the worms? Hey big guy. He's like, nope, but I'll eat my food. Yeah, these are the worms. You wanna smell? Look in here, Moose. Look. Oh, whoop, whoops. Did you see all that? Those are our worm friends. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, we're gonna work on our worms. Puppies may or may not help us. I just pulled the cover off of here, and uh, apparently there was quite the suction on here, so I'm thinking moisture levels are gonna be a little high today, but we'll check and see. Friends, it's been about a week. I meant to check in sooner, but you know, I didn't, uh, life happened. And so we're gonna just keep on uh, going at it. Um, this tier down here has been, um, I guess we'll say migrating, hopefully still migrating. This is where they have been migrating to. And then this is our existing uh, older container. So you can see this one's got labeled two on it. This one you can't see all the way, but it's just three and this is one. Been down here four. So we're going to check and see how they're doing. I have um, some reused paper towels we're going to use, some of my tortillas I'm still working through. And I have plenty of frozen food that's been defrosting for about an hour or so. Um, there's some avocado uh, pieces down here, lots of strawberry bits this year, and some spinach, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, so, uh, gonna be seeing how they're doing. Oh, now Wally's here to check in. Fellas, it's a little, it's a little tight over here. <laughs> All right, let's start with the uh, tier two, which is the third slot down, which has been migrating. Um, that's the one that we've been trying to bait things out with. So, uh, we're going to do that while Moose checks out their food. <laughs> you helping? Okay. All right. So I'm going to take these two top bins off. Oops. Put them over here. I saw some activity pretty much immediately. So what I'm going to do is, you guys can't probably see because it's off screen, but I'm moving the stack pile over here. Then this top one, we're going to move that here. So that way we can get into this bin a little bit easier. And that way if we have to pick and scoop some more guys up, it will be very easy. So I'm just gonna have this bin. This is our bin three. We're gonna just have them on standby. This is looking, oh, like there's worms here. Hello worms, what are you doing? You're supposed to be migrating. I'm hoping under some of these avocados here, we'll find some nice big fellas that we can help scoop up so we can call this layer done. And clearly there's still, you know, some bits of food and stuff in here, but we're just trying to remove as many worms as possible. Like these guys. Hey, you friends. So I don't really need that many worms down here to finish this off because I'm expecting that there's still a considerable, yeah, there's still quite a few down here. But I'm expecting there's still cocoons and whatnot in here. So we're just going to move that one over a little bit. Look at this guy. Hey, yo, friend. If I can get him without getting too much of the compost. And I can get him into the other bit. I've been trying to scoop him up. Just to help expedite the process a little bit. All right, let's check on this shell. It's been in here a while. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, this one still has meat in it. So that's why there's bit of a group here. No trouble. Just gently scoop them out. That's all we're doing. We'll let them keep working on that for us. Past me apparently forgot the little marker. All right, now we'll look at this one. Is there a party? Okay, a little party. A little party. A little party. I'd rather take too much dirt, but oh man, there's definitely... I'll look at Look at all of these guys. Ugh. 
Yeah, we're gonna let them just, oh hey. All right, I don't wanna take too much of the dirt out of here, the compost. Oh, yeah, we got a little worm pile here. What's nice about the avocados, using this as a baiting method, which is new to me, but I know a lot of people have used variations of it online. Um, what I think is nice about it is because the shells themselves don't really break down anytime soon. So we can keep using this as like a baiting method. All right, ooh, got slimies in here. Not too many in here. All right, we'll leave these guys. So I can just kind of re-push all of these down. And what I'm trying to do is put some of the food that like is clearly like there's still paper and stuff in here that they're working on. Just kind of put it more centralized. So hopefully we'll be more inclined to finish that off for us. Okay. I'm gonna put the number three in the one that they're migrating into on top. Got this little cloth that I have on the floor. I've been sitting on. You can see the pile that I just dumped in here. This is all the stuff that I just took, which probably was too much, but there's a lot of worms in here, so I think it's okay. A lot of worms. A lot. Before we shuffle them around too much, I'm reading off of my notes, so make sure we don't end it wrong. But last time, about a week ago, Tier three was fed two toilet paper rolls on the bottom left. So I'm thinking this area. So when you check on them, see how well they did. I think there's quite a few worms on this layer, but it's still early, so we'll see. Bottom left. If this is the bottom left. Oh, wait, is this a toilet paper roll here? I see some worms. Pull this back here. All right, this definitely looks like a toilet paper roll. I don't technically see two. Wait, is this it over here? Yep, here's the other one. Okay, let's see how they're doing. Ooh. Hello, is there anybody in here? Hello? Doesn't feel like there's a lot of food in here anymore, but this one just had banana peels, so that could be part of it. So we're just going to cover that back up for now. I can see part of a uh, tortilla, looks like, moldy there. Okay, let's see what this one had. These weren't the most exciting toilet paper rolls anyway. So, okay, down here there's definitely more worms. But there's not, like, I can, you know, there there's food, obviously, still in the toilet paper roll, but not a lot. So I'm just going to cover them up. And then, you know, we just put a bunch of new worms in here from the below layers. So I'm just going to look over here and see this had, oh yeah, an avocado. We're just going to cover that up. Pass me, put a moldy avocado in. And then, that looks like that was just remnants. And then I want to just check on this corner. I think this is where I want to feed this time. Let's see. Okay, nobody was nobody's really over here, so that's perfect. We'll put this food nice and deep down here, and there's really nobody over here. So we're gonna feed in this section, so that way it'll be close to this layer that they just hopefully are finishing up. So this I expect is gonna go over really well because this layer um, is still growing, but this more importantly. The food is pretty much, I don't say exclusively strawberries, but mostly strawberries. Apple, apparently some paper towel, and then some lettuce with some berry bits in there. We'll put on top, just to even it out a little bit. And then I'm going to cover that up for now. I'm not really that worried about putting this kind of dirt and whatever this is on top of the bedding because there weren't really a lot of worms in there. So I don't think, even though it's a little frozen, 
I don't think it'll be an issue for them. But I am going to take one of my tortillas, put it over the top. So we've got plenty of coverage there. And then we'll also take a paper towel. And I think putting the paper towel over the spot that I just fed is helpful, partially for me to remember even not taking notes, but I think that's a pretty good uh, spot for now. I don't think they need more food. They still got a little bit over here they're working on. Not a lot, but a little bit. I'm also not gonna put more bedding in here. It's pretty full as it is. So we'll take a look like we like to do. And this is a little, a little chunkier. Let's even this out a little bit. So it's definitely a filling bin. It's, it's definitely full-ish, but there's still, there's still a lot of food in here. So very early stages for this tier. Which brings us to our next tier, our tier one, which is the oldest of this rotation, at least since we've labeled it. All right, now I expect when I open this up, we're gonna have a lot of worm activity on the top. So that'll be interesting to see, but looking at my notes, it said last week we fed them one toilet paper roll on the bottom left corner, so we were doing a lot of left corners, and one tortilla on top. So not as much food as the tier below it. So let's see how we do. Well, I can see them hanging. <laughs> oh boy. All over, I have worm parties galore. I'm gonna go ahead and try and scoop them off really quick. We didn't get everybody, but we got a lot of them. And it's interesting, there's a lot of moisture in this tier, um, which I think is partially why they're kind of going around the tops, or maybe they're just having a good time. Now I, off the bat, can see that this paper towel area, I remembered we had fed them a lot of strawberries over here. It looks like there's still quite a party going on, but I don't see any strawberries left, so that's good. Um, there's a lot of bedding in here. Obviously, there's part of a tortilla, so somebody's been working on it. Looks like this roll has some activity on it. Not a whole lot. This was just bananas, though, um, which I think normally take a bit longer to break down. So I think just because there are a lot of worms on this layer, let's just check this corner over here because I know we fed over here at one point. I just want to make sure there's no other food around. Yeah, this area is fairly deserted. And I am going to check this back corner because I know we had an avocado over here too. Yeah, they're still working on that avocado back here. So we're just going to cover that up really well. And I think just because there's not really a lot of food, there's a lot of cardboard and a lot of bedding, but there's not a lot of food. I am going to feed them a little bit, but not, I don't know, not too much. So what I have here is I have some avocado halves that have some frozen berries in them that went bad. They weren't good for human. They just, you know, sometimes they go quick. Since there's nobody in this area, I'm going to go ahead and put this avocado shell in here upside down like that. And I'm gonna probably just, for good measure, sprinkle some of the random like tissue and uh, little loose leaf bits that I have in there. And then that way, there's just some extra food in the area. And then I'm gonna take, uh, I just have some of these like kind of partially used paper towel rolls and I will just covering them up what we just put in here because I think there's gonna be a lot of moisture coming out of this frozen um, feeding that we have and then I'm going to just gently recover it with some of the existing bedding that's in here and then we'll put our tortilla on top 
so we can just see who's roaming around on the top levels here. And I don't, I don't know. I think we're gonna, you know what, let's just put it in. There's a lot of moisture in here, which I have been told you should air on the side of too wet than too dry. But um, I think we're bordering problems here and I don't see any mites, thankfully. I don't see any gnats, so that's great. But just, because I think it would make me feel better. I'm gonna put just this old paper towel that was briefly used on top. In fact, I actually have another one. Maybe we'll cover over here with. I don't really want to add more uh, the shredded bedding in because this is going to be the next one that we start. Uh, not starving, but we're going to let them start um, dwindling their feedings um, as soon as the, this tier below starts getting back up to its full capacity. So, you know, it's hard with the tiers, and I'm still learning. But I think, I don't, you know, I don't want to repeat the mistakes that we made last time where we were migrating and starting and um, starving bins. Just, I think we have to always have one that's doing somewhat regular feedings and on a somewhat regular schedule. So before I put this cover back on, I'm just going to make sure we get everybody back in. Hopefully nobody's getting squished. And there we have it. It's been a week. We fed them. I am not surprised by the amount of food that got put in. Uh, I'm pretty pleased. They're doing good. There was a, I think the toilet paper rolls are kind of keeping them slower with their feedings because they have to go through the toilet paper rolls to a certain extent. But it's okay. I don't mind. I'm just saving my food in here and putting it in the freezer when it, the container is full. And I think that's partially what's helping us with our gnat prevention or um, what are those little things called? The mites. You know, we've been really lucky with that. So I'm probably going to be breaking down this rotted squash that I forgot about in the pantry soon. So maybe that'll go in the next feeding. I'm not sure. But I'm excited. I haven't tried a squash before. So squash feeding coming soon.